in Kerala, Kerala is most suited for that. According to me, it's a cleaner place. It is more systematic. People are more, little more systematic. Mm -hmm. I would say we have been comfortable uh, doing business in Kerala. From home appliances to defense technology, OEN India's electronics products power systems across industries. Established in 1960, OEN India began its journey in a time when the global electronics sector was still in its infancy. Today, OEN stands as a leader in the electromechanical component manufacturing sector with clients worldwide, including defense agencies and aerospace companies. OEN India, a leading electronics manufacturing company located in Tiruvanyur, Ernakulam, has an impressive annual turnover of over rupees 300 crore. Whether it's the ACs we switch on at home or the lifts that take us to the right floor, OEN is behind them. The indicators in our cars and bikes, the functionality of vaporizers, the phone towers that ensure our signals and the UPS systems all rely on OEN India. Even when a PSLV rocket launches, Thousands of OEN relays play a key role in the ground station control centers. The company's strategic involvement also extends to defense helicopters and telecommunication systems. From Kerala, OEN manufactures top quality electromechanical components used globally by leading brands. We have most of Europe has been covered, Australia to some extent, and to a limited area in US because two things one is basically we are major part of our current business goes to automotive at their Tiruvanyur plant OEN uses automated machinery worth crores and has an 80% female workforce the company is at the forefront of innovation and R&D in the ever-evolving electronic sector this plant and that plan put together, okay? In totality, we, we make annually 75 million relays and roughly about 2,000 uh, employees. OEN India began in the late 1960s, back when entrepreneurship wasn't as popular. The electronics industry was in its infancy globally. But despite that, the company was able to secure state government support and orders from defense agencies, helping transform OEN into a public limited company. Today, OEN has become Kerala's own electronics brand, manufacturing high quality components that are used by global brands. As far as OEN is concerned, we have been very lucky. From day one, Kerala State Industrial Corporation has invested in the company 25% equity and their representative has been on the board of the directors even now. At no point of time we ever had any situation where we had a confederation with the government. I wouldn't say initially it was all quick, quicker than it is now, but certainly we had KSIDC support. I would say we have been comfortable uh, doing business in Kerala. At just 23, Pamela Ann Matthew took over the company, bringing with her a solid academic background in economics and business administration. For over 50 years, this female entrepreneur has been leading a company based in Kerala and turning it into a multi crore business. OEN has expanded beyond Kerala with manufacturing units in Pune and Bangalore. Pamela's daughter Rupa George heads OEN India's operations department. We are, we are around uh, 330 crores current year and we, we always believe that we need to make profits. Business is to make profit and those who are doing business with us also has to make profit. That is our general policy. Our target is to make a 15% profit, net profit. 
OEN has firmly established itself as an irreplaceable brand in India's automotive sector, especially in relay systems, thanks to the nation's support and the founder's dedication. Keralites have a much bigger take than elsewhere. Generally, productivity is better. Understanding is quicker. Adaptability is quicker. Today, OE in India is an undisputed leader in the automotive relay system sector. Its steady growth and global presence stand as proof of how Kerala's entrepreneurial spirit, innovation and highly skilled workforce have contributed to making OE in India a global electronics giant.